before all the craziness that was the virus, we actually spent a couple days up in Marquette doing a partnership with Travel Marquette. We stayed two nights and three days at the Staybridge Inn and Suites, which was right in the heart of town, so it literally made for a perfect home base for us. So I didn't do a very good job of actually vlogging and talking to the camera during this trip, so I'm just gonna be here to fill in the pieces. Now there is literally so much to do in Marquette. It is literally a winter wonderland up there, and my favorite part is that winter is actually celebrated up there, not dreaded. And winter in Detroit this year was a complete dud. We maybe got a couple snowstorms, but nothing crazy at all. So needless to say, I was super stoked to go to Marquette for a real winter adventure. We only had about 72 hours there, so we barely even got to scratch the surface of all the things there is to do. But I did want to share what we were able to do in just a couple of days in case any of you guys want to go up there in the winter. And there's also a blog post linked in the description that I actually made that has all the locations we went to and a bunch of other information in case you do want to plan a trip. So we made the six and a half hour drive from Detroit and usually I would want to make a bunch of stops on the way because there's so many things to see. But this time I wanted to make it to Marquette before the sunset so we didn't make any stops. We got into town right as the sunset. We ended up catching it at this place called McCarty's Cove which is basically just a public beach that also houses the Harbor Lake. Presque Isle Park is this forest filled peninsula that extends into the water and there is a trail that you, you can either hike in the winter or the fall. It's closed from November I think until spring but in spring and summer you can actually drive your car to all the spots. But before we even started our hike right at the parking area at the lighthouse there was some crazy ice built up so we had to go check that out. started our hike towards Presque Isle Park and this is actually where I didn't do too bad with vlogging so I'm just gonna let that play out. Hike. I've been recently starting to use the intervalometer on my camera when we do selfies like with the tripod and it makes things so much easier So we're gonna set up the tripod and do a couple selfies Like a flashback to our fall trip same thing happened where deers walk right into our frame. Just about to put the 7200 away and I'm glad I didn't. All right, we are almost to Black Rocks. Um, we are here at this little beach cove here. We came here last year and I was completely blown away. It literally reminds me of the Pacific Northwest out here and seeing it in the winter is absolutely no different. It is incredible. It was amazing to be out and to be hiking. But yeah, we only got one more stop on this trek and that is Black Rocks. The crystals of to try to get to Marquette Mountain, which was highly suggested by a lot of you guys. But as usual, I made a wrong turn and that didn't work out as planned. But we did manage to make it to the bottom of Sugarloaf Mountain. That's one of my favorite things about this town. There's so many places to explore and shoot, all within five to 10 minutes of each other. After sunset, we headed into town and went to dinner at the Delft Bistro, where they had a movie projected on the wall while we ate our dinner, which was a perfect way to end the night. The next morning we woke up to a bunch of fresh snow and it was forecasted to continue snowing like that the rest of the day. We started off the morning by going to Contrast Coffee. 
which I highly recommend. Every bean and everything they serve is roasted right here in Michigan. Now this entire trip, I was looking forward to trying fat tire biking for the first time. And because of all the snow, I just assumed that we weren't gonna be able to do it. But we ended up going to Sports Rack, which was amazing. All the guys there were awesome and they assured us that we would be fine. They even gave us all the gear that we would need and gave us a crash course on the bike since we had no idea what we were doing. So they suggested a few routes to us that took us all around the lake and by the ore docks. So that's exactly what we did. bikes in Marquette, definitely do it through Sports Rack. There were some amazing people that were super stoked on what they were doing and that makes all the difference. Now I don't want to say that riding these bikes in the snow was easy, but it definitely was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It was so much fun getting to explore the city on a bike in the middle of a snowstorm. So definitely give Fat Tire Biking a try if you come to Marquette, either summer or winter. And if you're a first timer like we were, definitely go to Sports Rack because they will hook you up with everything you need and where to go. But the fresh snow that was falling was so beautiful that we just kept driving down back roads trying to see if we could come across anything random before we started our drive home. Marquette, but man do I love this town. It's literally the perfect escape for me to get away from the city lifestyle that I've been used to these past few years. It has a perfect mix of wilderness, outdoor adventure, camping, beautiful places to take pictures, all without having to go too far from town. It's the perfect home base for our fall trip that we take every year, and I'm gonna link the video up here if you guys haven't seen it already from the last time that we went in October, and that was my first experience in Marquette, and I was completely blown away, so I'm so excited that we got to experience it in the winter this time. And like I mentioned before, there is a blog post that I created linked in the description that has a bunch of more information and all the locations that we went to if you're interested in that. And also, huge thanks to Travel Marquette for making this whole video possible. If you guys are looking for more inspiration on what you can do in Marquette, go check out their website. They have a plethora of resources and all types of things that you can do in every season. That's gonna be it for this one. Um, let me know what you guys thought down below. If you guys have ever been to Marquette and you have any suggestions on other places to check out in the winter, write them down in the comments. I would love to have more suggestions. So hit the like button if you like this video. It actually does make a difference. It helps push the video out to more people. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.